I think it's pretty much confirmed that Roberto is Shanks' long lost brother. They both have that red hair. So I hate to break it to you, Roberto, but it looks like Shanks is probably going to die in this series. So yeah, that's what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about is Shanks going to die and how is that going to impact the story? And who's gonna kill Shanks? Shanks is a Yonko. That's not an easy feat to do. First of all, I'm the one Straw Hat. If you enjoy my content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Other than that, let's get right into this video. Play the intro. <laughs> First of all, I think we should discuss how is Shanks going to die? That's the first question we should tackle. And I think the obvious answer is Blackbeard. And I'll tell you the reason why everyone thinks Blackbeard will defeat Shanks. And that's because Shanks has been the only one in the series that has been wary of Blackbeard. Okay, you could see it when Ace went after Blackbeard, Shanks literally went on Whitebeard's ship and told him not to go after Blackbeard because Blackbeard isn't a joke. He gave Shanks the scar on his eye before he even had his first double fruit. So I think Shanks and Blackbeard are going to have some fight later down the line. I might make a whole video just discussing this legendary fight that's probably going to happen in the series. We might not even see it. I have a feeling it might get off screen just like Aces and Blackbeards. It might not even get off screen. It might be like a similar fight to that. Like we might get a couple panels here and there. Better than off screening though. Now Shanks' death is not only going to impact Luffy this time. It's going to impact the whole world. Because he is a Yonko with territory under his name. He probably owns Elbath, a lot of land under his belt. So it's going to affect the whole world. Now the way it's going to affect Luffy, it might not affect Luffy the same way that Ace affected Luffy. Because when Ace affected Luffy, Luffy wanted to go train so he could protect his friends. But Luffy already did that, so he's not going to be doing that again. I think if it affects Luffy, it's maybe going to set a new mission for Luffy. Maybe for example, oh yes, I'm going to defeat Blackbeard now because he did kill Shanks, the person I looked up to. I would personally like Shanks to see Luffy become Pirate King, but I just don't think it's going to happen. I think Shanks has been flagged and I think his death is coming soon. I think it's going to happen after Luffy and Shanks do have their fight. Now, I want to talk about that too, so I might make a whole separate video on that. And after Shanks dies, I think Zoro at this point will have already defeated Mihawk. Because I don't think Mihawk versus Zoro is going to happen at the end of the series. I think that's mostly for Luffy's goal. I think Zoro is going to attain his goal way before the end of the series. Maybe before we first Blackbeard, right before the Blackbeard fight. We're going to get the uh, Zoro becomes the greatest swordsman chapters, okay? But yeah, how do you guys think Shanks' death will impact the One Piece world? Because this is a Yonko and this is end game stuff, okay? What the heck was that? Oh, that was, a, that was a secret message. If you guys want to take your time and reverse that message, good luck. Um, but yeah, other than that, as I said in the beginning, I'm the one straw hat. If you enjoy my content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.